This demo will explain the process to perform the registration when a new product is brought from NetApp. All required details must be provided to complete this process. Log in to NetApp support site. Under Systems, select Register Systems. Registering a system consists of five steps. Select System, Sales Order Details page, Select Owner or Location, Select Contacts, and the Confirmation. The first step is to enter a serial number as indicated. You can enter up to 20 serial numbers at a time. If you add multiple serial numbers, they need to be separated by commas. If you are authorized to view the serial number details enter, all related details will be displayed. The support site will notify you if a serial number that is not authorized to view has been entered. If the user is the owner of the system but is under an USB contract, you will see messaging to contact your support partner for assistance. Messaging will be presented if there are any issues with the serial number entry. Example may include systems already registered, invalid serial number, duplicate serial number and number of serial number exceeded. After you enter the serial number, click add. The serial number gets added and click proceed. If the serial number is entered or authorized for you to view, the support site will direct you to step 3 to select owner and location. In that scenario, you will see a message stating you have skipped step 2 because no additional sales data is needed. If you are not authorized to view serial numbers, it will be necessary to enter sales details on step 2. Mandatory fields will always be highlighted as you proceed. Owner Location Update Under Owner Location tab, you can choose an existing location or manually enter a new address by clicking Location Not Found. If a partner has logged into the site, then they will view additional information such as My Customers and My Company. If you do not find the company name from the list, you can choose Other to manually enter the information. You will also need to enter an associated website. Please note that the proceed button will be enabled only after a location has been selected or updated. Parts delivery and service report to address update. By default, use owner location box will be checked. If the part delivery address is different from owner location, uncheck the tick from the checkbox and enter the address details manually. Similarly, you can enter service report to address and click on proceed. Primary contact update. Current data record will display all data based on the user's permission and access. If NA is displayed, it means you are not authorized to view the information due to permission or access. If the information is blank, it means that there is no contact information registered for the system. Here, you will be able to choose a contact from the list or add new one by entering information in the form, contact not found. Once the information is updated, click on proceed. Parts delivery contact update. By default, same as primary contact box will be checked. If the parts delivery contact is same as primary contact, make no changes and click on proceed. If the contact is different from primary contact, either you can choose from the list or add new one by entering information in the form under contact not found. Once the details are updated, click on Proceed. Service Report to Contact Update If the service report to contact is same as primary contact or same as part delivery contact, select the appropriate option and click on Proceed. If the contact is different from primary contact and part delivery contact, either you can choose from the list or add new one by entering information in the form under Contact Not Found and click on Proceed. Agreement contact update. By default, same as primary contact box will be checked. If the agreement contact is same as primary contact, make no changes and click on proceed. If it is different from primary contact, either you can choose from the list or add new one by entering information in the form under contact not found and click proceed. Please note, only resellers and ASPs will have access to view or update agreement contact the final step is the confirmation page. You will see all data selected and entered in process. From this page, it is still possible to click back to step 3 and 4 for modification if needed. However, you will lose your previously entered data. Once you are ready to confirm the data, click register. 
you will see a confirmation pop-up message and registration is complete. You may also receive an email notification. After you close the pop-up message, you will default to the dashboard page. Once the transaction is processed, it might take up to 15 minutes for the case to reflect in My Case page. You can see the cases on the recent transaction dashboard or on the My Cases page.